to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel Nostalgic Runner. And yes, I know my hair is kind of a mess, but hey, at least I'm back on camera, right? Right. Um, that's not why we're here, but we are back for another episode of The Real Housewives of Orange County. And this is season 18, and this is episode 16. And this is called Sunday Roasted. And we found out, I found out, we found out, find out that. Find out at the end of the episode that this is episode before the season finale. So next week is the season finale. So yeah. And what I must say is this was another great, great episode. But it didn't end how I expected it to end. Um, so this season finale is gonna be interesting, and the reunion is going to be especially interesting because child, things are heating up. Things are heating up. One thing I will say, side note, is I don't think this is one of the shows that has it, but I would like in the future because of how great the season was this past season. I would love it if this franchise had an after show um, because of all of the backlash has been happening after the fact. Like, everyone is on the Tamra hate train right now. And it's because of how the season played out. And also all the things that she did. And I think as the episode was going on, you didn't know that. But now we know. And also, too, child, I'm just wondering how the reunion's going to go because of um, also the extra things that Tamara added on. Because she also tried to say she's on the spectrum. And, um, yeah. And the way she said it, I know that's not accurate. Um, and I will... And for those who have not followed me on this channel before, um, I actually know because my ex, um, one of my exes, I'm not going to say which ex, but one of my exes, I actually had to do help assist with an evaluation of that. And it's a lot of work. It's not just one, it's not one therapy session and you figure it out. It's a lot more that they have to do to confirm if you're on the spectrum or not, especially as an adult. Um, so yeah, I know she's, Full of it when it comes to that. Allegedly. But anyway. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the episode. The episode does continue right where we left off. Jen, after Heather keeps trying to calm her down and basically gaslight her. Because that's what she's doing. Um, Jen comes back for no more. Round two. She's just like still tearing her up. She's like, Tamara, you're full of it. I don't believe nothing you say. And then as all this is happening, Heather is still continuing trying to um, shush her. And say she didn't do this, she didn't do that. And um, Jen's like, in, in her confessional, she's because she's ignoring, she's totally ignoring Heather and getting to it. I was like, oh my gosh, because she snapped. And Heather, in her, in, sorry, Jen in her confessional is like, I really wish Heather would get out of Tamara's ass and um, so that, you know, she could come up for air because Jesus. And I was like, wow. And also, too, um, for those who don't know, and you haven't been watching the episodes, Jen and Shannon have been carrying this season on their backs. And Jen, when it comes to the confessionals, shady queen in the best way possible. She just be reading the girls in that confessional. Um, but I love that we're seeing a little bit of that right now as she's finding her voice and going all the way off of her getting it together. So, anyway, then Tamra, so after that, Jen just finally is like, okay, I said what I said, and I'm gone. <laughs> and after that happened, Tamra is still looking like, Tamra looked like a damn troll. I'm sorry, I'm not someone who shames people looks, because child, look at my hair right now, it ain't looking that great. Um, but it's going to look better tomorrow, because I have a wedding to go to, so child, I'm about to get clean up. And I'm going to do these nails because, um, honey, these nails need some. Well, I mean, they're cute, clearly. But, like, I need to tighten them up a little bit. Anyway, I know that's not why we're here. But, anyway. So, Tamara is talking to Heather. And she's like, I just really wish you would saw the whole entire text. Because what Shannon did, she did do that okie doke where she showed Jen part of the text, but not all the text of what she was involved in, allegedly. Um... So, yeah, we don't know who to believe here. Um, and honestly, I think, 
Tamara's a liar. We know she's a liar. But I don't know if Shannon's necessarily the most trusted source either. And I think when it comes to the housewife show, she was going to do what she needed to do to protect herself. So who knows? Who knows? We know last season, if you watch last season, all the ladies were kind of all in Jen's business. It wasn't just Tamara. But Tamara's the one who got everyone in Jen's business. So at the end of the day, regardless of any if, if, if Shannon got involved or any of the other ladies got involved, Tamara still is a source. And that's one thing that I am appreciating about Jen this whole entire episode. She's like, I don't care what you did. They, did, they wouldn't have known to need this if it wasn't for you. So she's like, ah, you, you did that. You, you, you. And um, anyway, so then um, Heather is like, yeah, man, that's crazy that she did all that. She went off, but. I will say this, Jen looks good. That body's banging. And then Tamara, because she's such a hater, was like, yeah, she has such a great plastic surgeon. And then Heather's like, don't say that. Like, don't, don't out her surgery. She's like, no, she's admitted to herself. She has never admitted that she's gotten lipo. I don't remember ever hearing her say that. And she's like, yeah, she has no belly button. Even though clear as day, we're seeing she has a belly button. Tamara, are you projecting? Because I know she doesn't have a belly button. Tamara doesn't have a belly button because she has a whole bunch of other stuff going on. But also, too, maybe she's the devil. Maybe that's why she doesn't have one either. But anyway, neither here nor there. And, oh, if, if there's for a weird reason there's someone who's watching this who likes Tamara, probably not the right channel for you. Probably not. <laughs> you probably shouldn't watch this anymore because she's going to get whacked this whole entire uh, um, review. Because, yeah. Anyway. So then, as the, after they're done talking, we do see Jen. She goes to talk to Katie. She goes to Katie's, well, Katie and Jen's room, because they're, they're sharing that room together. We know that. And she's like, I just need to get fresh air. She, and, you know, Katie's like, what happened? She's like, ugh, I, I, yeah. And they don't really talk about it quite yet, but she's like, okay. Because she could tell that Jen's like, she, Jen is one of the, like, she's a lot like me. She was so mad that she was about to cry. Um, mainly because she got her words out and said what she needed to say. But I'm pretty sure Jen wanted to knock if you buck. I know she did. I know she did. Because the fact that someone you thought was your best friend or a good friend of yours did all that last season and still continuing this and it's like talking about your man, really the one person who is like, even though Ryan might be shady. I don't know him enough to say whether he is or not. It does look a little funny in the light when it comes to him. But from Jen's point of view, this man is taking care of her and took in all her kids. So, you know, she's going to have his back. And also, too, is her man. So, like, hello. Anyway. So then after that, we see a little bit of Shannon with her daughters. And they go to lunch together to catch up. And, um, so both her, because we found that, so Jen's, um, not Jen's, wow. Um, Shannon's daughters came from Paris and then they're here. And so this is one of the few times where we actually see Shannon have a good time because this was not a good trip for Shannon whatsoever. She did not have a good time during any of this trip. But with her daughters, you can see that she is. And she's hanging out with them and they're kind of catching up and they do recap how like she's not having good times. She's talking about how like Tamara's just being like the Tasmanian devil she is. And um, the twins are like, yeah, she's toxic. She's very toxic. It's a toxic friendship. And I just hope after this season, Shannon, I'm speaking directly to you. And I know it's the Aries in us. We love to forgive. Stop forgiving. Take, go to your polar opposite side of the house of what a Libra does and cut her off. <laughs> like, cut her off, ghost her. I know you have to work with her, but you know what? It's nothing to work with someone and just like, you know, not pay attention to her. Because honestly, at the end of the day, I know, the, I know the reason why they brought Tamara back. Actually, I don't know why they brought Tamara back. I'll be honest. Because I did actually enjoy the seasons without Tamara. Um, 
But I think the reason why they bring, they brought her back, she's the one who's like stirring up all the conflict. But it's forced, it's overproduced, it's really annoying, and she has no boundary. And so the low, she goes to trailer park trash low. And I don't want to see that on my screen. It's supposed to be a housewife show. So there's that. But um, anyway. So then back. Um, so the ladies are now all going out to get ready. Um, like kind of doing their own thing for the day. So we see that Heather, Tamara, and Gina, they go to a restaurant, like a caviar restaurant, where they have all these different caviars. Um, I'm curious about that, but I'm also not. I mean, let me know in the comments. Do y'all like caviar? I mean, I've had caviar a couple times, but I don't think it's that great. I think it's kind of overrated. And I mean, I've had it at places where, like, it's, you know, decent. But it's kind of like, I don't get it. I don't get the allure of it. But anyway. Um, and so that's happening. And then we have Emily, Katie, and Jen. They end up going out for drinks because, you know, again, this is after all this just happened. And Jen's recapping with them what took place that she literally just went all the way off on Tamara. And what was interesting is back at um, Heather's. So, okay. Yeah, they're, they're recapping that. And then Jen, Jen's so cute. She just loves her Malibu. She, and, and the thing is when she says, she's like, I want Malibu anywhere I go. Malibu and Diet Coke. That's what I want. And I ain't gonna hold you, um, Jen. Malibu was my drink of choice from like, um, I want to say from uh, like 19, I know I wasn't supposed to be drinking it, but oops, um, to like 21. That was my drink of choice. I always drink Malibu. Like that was like my stuff. Um, uh, I don't really drink rum so much anymore. Um, although I did restore the feeling when I was in Puerto Rico and had all the Puerto Rican rum. Um, but I didn't like overdo it clearly because I don't like to, I personally don't like to overdo it where I'm anywhere where I'm not familiar with my surroundings. Like I can be messy while I'm at home and when I mean I'm at home, I'm like home, home, um, and with friends, but like, uh, outside, like an outside environment that's like not a familiar area absolutely not but anyway i digress quite a bit here um so what was i gonna say so then back with um heather um and G sorry heather gina and tamra it gets brought up and i don't remember how but about katie um because according to tamra katie brought up something about Emily's children. So Emily, according to Katie's daughter, um, Emily's boys said something up to the effect that Heather's mean we don't like her to the daughter. And then the daughter told Katie and Tamara about it. And Katie, girl... This is definitely a Katie doing. I hate, I hate, I actually believe that Katie did this. I don't think um, Emily talked to her boys about it because Emily's been on the show long enough where she's not going to talk to her kids about work, basically. Because, I mean, most of these people are not really friends in real life. Maybe Gina and her are friends in real life, but everyone else, she ain't going to talk about them like that. And, and not to her kids. Like, we see her around her kids and she doesn't do all that. So, um, Gina's like, whoa, that's kind of weird that she would do that. But also, to Gina, we know Gina don't really care for Katie either. So, Katie, so basically, um, now Heather has an issue with Katie yet again. And she's like, yeah, she hit new looks. Now she's bringing in kids into this and whatever. And Tamara's just happy because there's chaos. Because she's a chaos team. So next, um, as the ladies are getting ready, um, we see that Ryan, so Jen's talking to Ryan on FaceTime and literally is recapping everything that happened, told her how she went off on Tamara. And then we see that um, 
um, Tamara and Heather, they're getting glammed up. And um, Heather's one's like, yeah, we're about to go to etiquette class. And of course, Tamara hates that because Tamara's trashy. She's like the opposite of like good manners, etiquette, or any of those good things. Like, and then also too, as we're talking about it, she's doing the most and like sitting there with like her legs wide open, just looking, ugh, gross. But anyway, and but then as this is happening too, um, as the ladies are on their way to the etiquette class, we find out Shannon is having some serious restroom issues. Like, she hasn't went number two since they've gotten there in day three. She hasn't went number two in three days. And she's like, I'm bloated. I'm backed up. And, okay. I've never done, like, a long, long flight. So, I don't know if this is common or not. But I will say this. I'm confused why she continues to drink alcohol if you're having these functional issues. Because alcohol dehydrates you more, which is also going to stop you up more. And I'm just disturbed at the idea of, because eventually things do get relieved. Um, and it's actually part of this episode. I mean, but I guess that's real if you've done some long trips like that. But it's just the fact that she did not switch over to like drinking more water and not as much alcohol, but I guess also, too, that she said there's stress. The stress is causing it, too. But for those who travel internationally or do long flights, like, or have before, let me know in the comments. Is that, like, normal to not be able to go? I, I personally just have never had that issue where I can't go. Like, I, I haven't. I, I'll be honest. Like, as an adult, it's never happened to me. Like, I... I've had moments where I feel like I should have been going to the restroom more often, but then I, I, I remedy that. It's like, oh, yeah, I should probably be drinking water. And I don't know. Like, just the idea of not being able to go, and then once that happens, because I just imagine, sorry, bodily function and fluids is just, like, I know that's a part of all humans, but just, I'm a visual person, so when I'm talking about it, I'm literally thinking about it, I'm like, ew, gross. But anyway. That is a conversation, but then Emily shows up. Emily and Gina show up. No, Emily, Jen, and Katie show up because they showed up late because of the time frame and all that. Um, and apparently, I guess Emily was having similar issues, but Katie gave her something to relieve herself of that, and it's working a little too well. So Emily has the opposite problem, but yet they're at this etiquette class. And Emily told everyone this, too, just like um, Shannon told everyone this, along with the etiquette lady being right there before the etiquette class starts. And I was like, wow, none of y'all are etiquette. <laughs> none of y'all have good etiquette at all. And so this part was a little bit light in the episode because none of them have great etiquette. And they kind of use this um, etiquette cat cl class to recap how none of them have great etiquette, like, Panning back to when Tamara threw that napkin at Jen last season, which, side note, I just really wish Jen would have had the wherewithal at that moment to never be friends with Tamara again. But she's a good person and a nice person and a more forgiving person than I am, so I get it. But for me, once there's any form of assault, we're done. Because <laughs> to me, that was a form of assault. But, I mean, and I am to me, that is a fact. That's a fact. That's a form of assault. But anyway. Um, and then, so basically they do all this. And then after the etiquette class is over with, they do like a, um, I think it was Heather that was like, what was the best and worst of like this day for you all? Gina went first and said like something just kind of lighthearted. And she was like, yeah, the best was, the worst was, me having to wake up early to do Emily's hair. And Emily's like, wait, what? And she's like, I want to sleep in. And then she was like, but like the best was like I got to meet um, um, Shannon's daughters. Like she got to see Shannon's daughters. And we do see unseen footage where she actually, you know, the daughters came up to her room and stuff. And, but then it was Tamara's turn and Tamara went to hell with it. She always, you knew that's where it was going to go. 
So Tamara said the good thing was the restaurant, and then the bad thing was Jen yelling at her, and then here we go. Jen versus Tamara. Um, well, Tamara, tr Tamara this whole entire time, she tries to spin it and make it where it's actually Shannon's fault that this happened. And it's just like, Tamara, are you going to just forget the fact that you and you and Jen were not cool before Shannon got involved and did what she did? But now, because Shannon got involved, now you're making a point to make it where, like, Shannon's the reason why y'all don't get along. Really, Jen was like, no, I don't like you. We, I don't see you. Like, this ain't it. And so when Tamara was trying to attack, um, attack, um, Shannon, right away after this, at this point, then you have, um, you have Emily having Shannon's back, you have Gina having Shannon's back, and Jen, we know she has her back, and Jen, take, like, it, it goes from, it goes from Shannon versus Tamara to Jen versus Tamara, and Jen, false victory. <laughs> like, she is, ugh. she was like, you're gonna, she's like, you're gonna leave your, you're gonna leave his name out of your mouth. Like, I was, oh, girl, not Jen. And you know what? When Jen was arguing this last time, she sat, she was getting Will Smith. I was, and then, and then I, oh, child, I'm slow. I'm slow. Cause after that, when she was saying all that, then like Tamara was like, what are you gonna do? Hit me? I was like, oh, okay, Chris Rock. Okay, Chris Rock. <laughs> That's what it was giving for me. I was like, girl, girl. Jen has a little bit more class than you, so the answer is no, she's not going to do that. But I will say Jen did shut her down, though. Tamara was still like, boop, boop, boop. Because then, then Tamara defaulted like, I'm not going to stick around. I'm going to get ganged on. And then Jen was like, then you leave. You tell everyone else to leave. You leave. I was like, yes. And you know why I love that? Because Shannon, this is what you should have done every single time Tamara has tried to do all this with you. Make her leave. The fact that Jen had the wherewithal say, girl, leave. And it ended that. <laughs> Tamara had nothing else to say to Jen. And, and the ladies were just like, wow. Everyone was like, I would leave Jen alone if I were you. I was like, ciao. <laughs> like, um, Heather and her confessional, she was like, wow. I'm impressed. I love it. Like, and I don't think this time, because I think last episode when she said that she was being shady, this episode, I think she was like, yes. And then even Katie was like, oh my gosh, yes. That was hot. <laughs> And I was thinking the same thing too. I was like, Jen, you did that. You you did that. And then Jen, in her confessional and her commentary, she's still whacking her. I was like, yes, continue to whack her. I love it. I love it. Anyway, um, so then from there, um, the dinner pretty much ends like abruptly. Everyone's just like, okay, this is done. This is we're, we're done with this. Um, cause everyone's tired. And so Jen and Katie, they go back to their rooms and they're recapping everything. And Katie was like, I'm so happy I have her as a friend. She's so good and all that stuff. And I hope this is genuine. I really hope it's genuine. Cause I do like their friendship on this show. It seems like they really do like each other. Actually, they have a lot in common and stuff. And I hope this is actually a real friendship or at least they're developing a real friendship here. Um, but I'm going to know Katie. Katie, the, the ladies are plotting behind her back. And I am kind of curious how this is going to, like, pan out next episode. Um, but anyway. And then, so, while they're talking, we have Emily, Shannon, and Gina. And they're recapping things. And they're talking about, you know, how Tamara's just being, doing the most and being ridiculous. And one thing I will notice, which is kind of alarming, which gives me pause and kind of makes me think, both Jean, both Tamara and Shannon are the problems. 
I think Shanna's a problem for a different reason because I think she's just walking chaos, but I don't think she's trying to be a chaos demon. I think because her life's a mess, she's just being messy unintentionally um, and just fires are everywhere. Like, <laughs> fires are being lit everywhere. And I don't think Shanna's really trying to do that, but I think that is what's happening. Um, and because let's be clear, Shanna's not innocent. I, I'm not. I'm not that much of a Shannon fan. Where I think she's innocent, she's not. It's just the thing is, Tamara's like a whole entire demon, so it makes it hard for me to root for it. it like it makes it hard for me to side with Tamara ever, and I pretty much never do because Tamara's track record tracks that you should never trust Tamara, um, and it continues because I mean she's done the same thing every single season that she's been on the show. I mean, minus two or three seasons that she wasn't on the show. Or, yeah. No, I forgot how many seasons she's been on the show. Anyway, doesn't matter. So then, um, but yeah, Gina, Tam, sorry, Gina, Emily, and Shannon, they are recapping everything. And Gina alludes to what she said to Tamara. She's like, if you're going to do this to Jen, I don't know how far you're going to go. I, I don't know if I will be next or anything like that. And it's like, Gina, did you speak that into existence? And I'm going to hold you. Um, well, I'll wait till we get to the end um, to put bring my feet back into that. Um, she's like, are you going to start talking about what's going on with Travis or something like that? That's what she said to Shannon. Um, and then over on the other side, you have Heather and Tamara. And they're talking about Jen. And all that. But then they switch focuses and then talk about Heather and her issues with um, Katie. And then after that, out of nowhere, Tamara then brings up Gina and how Shannon was trying to dig up dirt on Gina and that whole incident that happened a couple years ago where um, Travis fell down the stairs or whatever. That whole entire drama with the ex wife. I mean, with. Um, Travis's ex-wife and all that. And I'm just like. <sighs> See. This is what gets me. Because part of me thinks that. Shannon probably did really talk to Tamara about this. But what Tamara keeps. She keeps failing to realize the problem is. And why we still don't see it for her is. You're the one that brings it on the show. Regardless of what maybe Shannon was going to do with Reunion or whatever, which she didn't do, and she could have done that actually even with what happened at the Reunion because Gina did kind of get on her. You know, T Gina got, got Shannon together last, last, the last Reunion. So Shannon actually could have done that, but she still didn't do it. The difference is you would have. We know you would have done that. And so regardless of what Shannon might have talked to you in confidence of what she was thinking about possibly doing, she, the fact is she still didn't do it. And my problem is, and, 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 and my whole thing is towards the end of the episode, because I'm going to skip to the end of the episode. I can't. I can't wait for it. <laughs> when all this gets exposed and like, Tamara says, tells Gina, what Shannon was trying to do. Gina is mad at both of them now. She doesn't even like see. She's pissed. And I get why. Because that is a sore spot for Gina. Like actually. I mean that is the reason why. Travis and her are not even living together. Is because of that ex-wife. Like it's so toxic. That they're not living together. And so she. You know had. They're in separate homes. To remove herself from that. Because of that. And they all know that. And I just wish Gina would have got her thoughts together. Because I think what Gina, what happens with Gina. And this is a histor historically a thing with Gina on this show. When she gets mad she can't see properly. So she just reacts, reacts, reacts. And if she would have just like taken a breath. Really took it in. Because the thing that gets me is 
Gina, you literally talked to Shannon and Emily of Tamara potentially doing this. And then she did it. So I don't want you to air your energy out to like, why are you airing your energy to Shannon? You know, you and Shannon weren't in a good place last season. And also, too, at the end of the day, she still did not do that. She could have, but she didn't. Especially since you got her together during the reunion, and she still didn't do that. But what, but what was just done, and I think, and maybe it was the way it was edited, because Gina's issues did seem like, she, she did seem like she was more mad at Tamara than Shannon. I think she, Shannon just got a little bit of it because of the fact that they were talking about it together. And also, too, Gina was speaking for the choir when she said this. She's like, I do not want any any more of us to be collateral damage of you two's BSs. Because that's what's happening. And I just, I, I love that, like, Gina actually called it out for what it was. She's like, Jen's collateral damage for what y'all two got going on now. And now I am. Like, what is next? Like, y'all need to stop it. I was like, Gina? I I don't cheer for Gina often, but the last two or three episodes, Gina has been on it. And I am liking that Gina and Jen patch things up because I'm loving that they have each other's back now. And because also, too, at the end of the day, Gina and Jen, y'all got a lot in common, you know, for the longest before Jen came on this show, you were, everyone was calling you the broke girl. And now that you got your paper up and your money up, you shouldn't be bullying the next girl who has similar issues in you. Maybe the reason behind it and the background behind it is slightly different, but it still is what it is. So I do like that towards the end, she was like, I'm sick of this. And the same thing with like um, Jen. Both of them are just like, no, we're not doing this. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what happened there. Because um, I'm kind of skipping around a little bit. Because some of the other stuff didn't really matter. Um, what else happened? So um, the issues with um, Heather is brutal. Well, Heather and... Well, Heather, Emily, and Katie are brewing because now Emily's in it now too. Cause side note, for the, I did actually skip ahead a little bit here, so let me go back a little bit. So the next day, we see that um, Katie and Jen are getting glammed up, and then um, Gina, Emily, and Shannon—they're recapping um, what else happened. That we didn't see. So something else happened. And the other thing that happened was that Heather actually told all that was said and talked about at that Sedona, um, at the Sedona place when um, Shannon was consoling Heather. Like she told everything to the table, the whole entire table, not just one bit of it. And so Shannon is, you know, fuming, rightfully so. And then, also, they were supposed to go off and do stuff, but then Shannon, restroom issues continue, and then this is where it gets solved because it, um, enema it, it, it has to happen. So, yeah. See why I didn't want to talk about that? But anyway. <laughs> but then, also, too, then we see that um, Emily, Heather, and Tamara, they're walking around. And then after they get done walking around sightseeing some more, we do find out that, um, so Heather, no, um, Emily talks about what Gina said to her about what Katie said in regards to, um, Emily's children and what they're saying about Heather. So Emily reassures Heather that, no, I do not talk to my kids about, you or really anyone on this show. I don't have adult conversations with my kids. So that's not accurate. Because also, side note, the kids are like eight years old. So no, she's like, I'm not doing that. Um, and so 
Emily's equally mad now at, at, um, at Katie because she's like, you brought kids into this now. Why? And I feel like Katie did do this. I don't think this was a uh, shan. I don't think this was, um, yeah, I think Katie did this because what else does Katie have going on? And we know that Katie never did feel like the issues were resolved when it came to her and Heather. And honestly, too, at the end of the day, Heather, I can't blame this on you. I ain't gonna hold you. Katie did do that, and that was wrong. That was actually really, really messed up. The fact you're bringing kids into it, that's kind of low of Katie to do that. But Heather, like, the fact that you would never let this lady apologize and stuff to begin with, y'all could have nipped this in the butt, and y'all could have been cool, but now, clearly, y'all are never going to be cool because kids are brought into it now. So, yeah. Anyway, um, so then, um, Tamara starts the plan of trying to throw Shannon under the bus when it comes to Gina um, and talks to Emily about it first. And we already kind of gave you the synopsis of what happened there. Um, and this actually happened later on that day where they went to an English roast. And this is why it's called Sunday Roast. And um, Shannon does arrive and she's like, I feel a lot lighter now because we know what happened. And then Shannon is just like doing this. Like Heather's right here. She's like acting like she's not next to her. And Heather's like, are you mad at me or something? What's going on? And she's like, let's go outside and talk. So Emily, not Emily, well, Shannon explains her whole entire issue of like, why did you do that? Like I said a confidence not to say anything. And Heather continues to take no accountability. Which side note, this is the same woman that told Tamara she needs, needs to take accountability when it comes to Jen and actually apologize to Jen. Which also, side note, you know Tamara never did and she never did apologize to Jen. She keeps saying that she apologized to Jen, but she actually never really did apologize to Jen. Because if you say I apologize to Jen while Jen's right there in the third person, but yet you've never actually done the apology, you, you're full of it. And at this point, I'm glad Jen has finally saw what she needs to see because she's like, I'm not going to accept it, so it doesn't matter. I'm like, and you shouldn't. So there's that. But anyway. And so as Shannon's trying to like, you know, say this, Heather, again, no accountability, trying to turn around on her, brings up Jeff Lewis again when that has nothing to do with nothing. And then she has audacity bring up the argument they had in 2019. And I'm like, girl, that was five years ago. What are we doing? Not you doing what you said Gina just did, like, last episode. You doing the exact same thing, bringing something up that means nothing. Just say you don't like Shannon and keep it moving. Because, like, like, for those who watch the show or have been watching the show, Heather and Shannon have never seen it for each other. And I don't even know, like, we need to stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. You're all not going to be cool. And... Shannon came up with a conclusion that she should have came up with before she even went to talk to her, that she should have never talk to her about that. She, she should talk to Gina. I'm just like, why did you just talk to Jen about it? <laughs> I'm just like, I don't understand why she didn't just talk to Jen about it. I think Jen would have been the most understanding of everyone, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway. And then from there, then we see Tamara is still blaming Shannon for dividing her, um, of dividing her, you know, with Jen. And Jen is not saying nothing. She's on mute challenge. She's like, I am not even going to do it anymore with her. Because I think, I don't know what Tamara's goal was of that, but Jen's like, I'm going back to being on mute. I'm done. Um, I, I'm not going to waste my energy on this. And then this is where she brings up everything with Gina. And then this one, Gina went off on all of them. And uh, by all of them, I mean both Tamara and Shannon. And then Shannon is so pissed because she's like, my trip. Every single dinner has been ruined because of Tamara. And then Shannon just gets so fed up, she leaves. But this is the kicker. This was supposed to be a birthday, the actual birthday, like, event. So she's leaving as they're bringing the birthday cake out that says happy 60th birthday to Shannon. And she's already gone. And they're still singing happy birthday, but she's not there. 
and hateful ass Tom, T Tamara is acting like it's her birthday and blowing out the candles and everything else. Just being straight trash, straight basula. And that is where the episode ends. Yeah. I really hope this reunion, I want the, I want, I want y'all to just get Tamara. Get her. She deserves it. She deserves, she deserves it. Like this has been just so horrible and toxic. And I hopefully when Gina goes back and watches the show, Gina, Jen, we know Emily's going to stay in the middle because Emily tries to stay neutral for the most part. Um, Katie, because also too, Katie, I hope you saw that Tamara was smiling up in your face, but then like take, took the opportunity to sabotage you as well. Whether you actually did it or not, which I think she did do this. I think in this case, Katie actually did do this. But like the problem is you told Tamara about people as if like you could trust her. Um, maybe because you thought since you guys were there with your daughters and was a family scene, she wasn't going to be evil. And like, yeah, that's we know that's not true. Um, because anyway, so, um, yeah. And Katie, so I'm thinking back to what I was saying. So I want Shannon, Jen, Gina, Katie, that's probably going to be the, re you know what? This is probably going to be the couch on one side. And then the other couch, you're probably going to have like Tamara, Heather, and Emily, because Emily's going to be the only one that is able to sell the other couch. And then, um, oh, that's going to be weird though, because I, I just thought about it. Because when Alexis does come out, she would actually be sitting next to Emily. Emily and her don't see it for each other, so that's not going to work either. I don't know, but all I know is that I'm just glad that um, we've had this amazing season and we have one more episode and then the reunion happens and I'm actually, I'm hyped for this reunion. I hope, Jen, bring that energy you've had these last two episodes, bring that to the reunion and more. Tear her up. And bravo. Next season, I, and I, I guess it depends on if Gretchen ever wants to come back. Bring back Gretchen. You can get rid of Alexis. We did. We never wanted her back. I know. I know that Heather wanted her back, but she was the only one who wanted her back. And let's face it, Heather is not the reason why this show is doing great. Like she's actually probably the reason why the show is not doing so great. I ain't gonna hold you. I don't really love Heather like that. She's. I guess she's the only one really on the show that brings ambiance. I mean, because she's like the only one that has money really on the show, other than Shannon. Um. So you keep her on there for that reason. I get that. But like, bring back Gretchen. Because I really want to see the team of Jen and Gretchen versus Tamara. I would, oh my gosh, I would love it. Because I know you're going to keep Tamara. So if you're going to keep Tamara, at least make it hard for her. I want it, <laughs> make it challenging for her. So she's like, you know, that, that's what I want to see because it's been a delight the past two or three episodes that we're finally seeing Tamara get her comeuppance. I mean, it was overdue seasons and seasons ago, but she's finally getting it. And I love it. But anyway, that does conclude the episode. I know this is a much longer recap. Maybe I was just excited to be back on camera because I've been on camera for a while. Um, but anyway, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon and Sasha Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.